Jo McAlpine. Yes, thank you very much. Um, First Minister, also as a supplementary to um, Bruce Crawford's question on, on no deal, uh, the UK government has published, I think it's over 100 technical papers now, um, on the consequences for no deal across different sectors. But one area that they haven't published a paper on is what happens to EU citizens uh, in the event of no deal. And I know that the Prime Minister was asked about this on Monday and she's given verbal assurances about that. But I'm aware in my committee that the European Parliament doesn't even have any, any confidence uh, that the, the, the deal that's on the table at the moment, a negotiated deal, would put the right guarantees in place for EU citizens because the European Parliament doesn't trust the UK government to stand by any uh, commitments it makes to EU citizens. So I just wondered what you thought of, um, of this, the fact that there hasn't been anything uh, outlined uh, as to what will happen to EU citizens in the event of no deal? And do you have confidence in the Prime Minister's reassurances in that? First Minister. Well, I think it's shameful um, to you know, be blunt about it. There's many shameful, deeply regrettable aspects of the whole Brexit fiasco, but probably the most shameful is the way EU citizens living here and British citizens living in other EU countries have been left to wonder what the future holds. They should have been given categoric cast iron assurances on day one, the day after the referendum. They should have been told, no matter what else happens, uh, your future and your status here is secured. And the fact that two and a half years on, that's still not the case is utterly shameful um, in my view and I we will all have constituents who you know are left just now thinking well we hope it will be okay but we still don't know for sure and we don't know for sure even if we get to say what the arrangements will be around families coming to visit us and all of that and it is you know it's unconscionable that people uh, are in that position when their lives effectively are, are uh, aspects of their life uh, are on hold as a result. Um, do I have confidence? I'm not saying that I, you know, I, I want to, to say that I, I don't take in good faith what the Prime Minister is saying, but I don't think anybody can have confidence that verbal assurances will turn out uh, to be adhered to. We've got a situation, which I've just been alluding to with Bruce Crawford, where the UK government signed up to the Northern Irish backstop in December, and we now have ministers like Michael Gove, ex-ministers like Boris Johnson, who sat around the cabinet table when they signed it, now pretending that they didn't know what they were signing, and the whole uh, UK government, including the Prime Minister, trying to back away from it. Now, if they're doing that on you know, things that are there in black and white that they signed up to, why should any EU citizen think that verbal assurances are worth anything? So it's a pretty sorry state of affairs. Um, and you know, I feel desperately sorry for EU citizens. For my part and for part of the Scottish Government, all we can continue to do is take every opportunity to tell every EU citizen living here that we, they're welcome, we want them here, this is their home, we want them to stay, and we'll do everything we can on a practical basis, whether that's what we've done around tuition fees for students or our commitment to pay the settled status fees of those working in devolved public services. We will do everything we can to give them the certainty that they should have had a long time ago, and it's uh, so awful that they don't have yet.